This is disgusting. So we just finished doing a lip lift. She was wide awake. Our patient was amazing. And we just took this off. She just had this incision sewn literally just a minute ago. Look at this nice curve of the lips. This distance was shortened. Notice you can see a little bit of the upper teeth. This is a surgical lip lift where you actually cut a portion of the upper lip out, causing the upper lip to be shorter and to be lifted. It does leave a permanent scar right underneath the nose though. Now this is being touted all over social media as this kind of hot new operation, but honestly, I learned this operation back in 2003. It's not a new surgery, and this is an operation that does create permanent scars, which can be visible and can thicken in some people. And because of this scarring, I don't recommend this operation until somebody's quite a bit older, maybe in their 60s or their 70s, they've got a long upper lip and they'll trade a shorter lip for that potentially visible scar. So ladies, this is the kombucha drink that I was telling everybody about on live when people were asking me about weight loss. So you're just gonna go, I would say go to Whole Foods. They have the biggest range of kombucha. You're gonna make sure that the kombucha does not have more than 80 calories. And then you're gonna make sure it says made with love somewhere on that bottle. You wanna mix half of the kombucha and half of the sparkling water. Drink one in the morning, drink one at night. Your bus size will reduce by at least six inches and your cup size will reduce by at least two. She said that the bus size and the cup size will reduce there's so much wrong with this video. So first of all, there is no drink that has ever been shown to actually cause your breast to get smaller. So that is completely cap. Now kombucha is a great drink for your health. It contains good probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria for our gut, but it does absolutely nothing to the shape or the size or the firmness of your breasts. And what does a sticker that says made with love have anything to do with any of this? One minute on lettuce water. Twenty minutes on romaine lettuce. <laughs> I, uh, I don't even know how to describe my feeling. I'm like stoned and tired, but happy, at ease, heavy, heavy in my body. Drinking lettuce water became this viral trend on TikTok, where people would steep lettuce in their water and they would drink it and claim that they would fall asleep faster. Now, some of these claims are based off a very small study with mice. Mice were given lettuce water and they did find that they could potentially sleep a little bit longer than mice that weren't given the lettuce water, but they actually didn't test how quickly they fell asleep. So there's no scientific proof that drinking lettuce water can help you sleep if you're a human. Now, if you wanna try it, there's nothing wrong with it. Lettuce is great for you and you can get some good polyphenols, some good vitamins out of it, but it's unlikely to make a big difference in your sleep. Should you get preventative Botox? If you're in your teens or your early 20s and you don't have wrinkles yet, is it a good idea to get your face injected with toxin? Well, some people call this prejuvenation and it's this trend to prevent aging, which I'm all about. If you're talking about the right creams, eating great foods, uh, even non-invasive treatments like IPL, mild chemical peels. But the reason why I'm not a fan of preventative Botox is because we do know that some people develop antibodies to Botox or tolerance to Botox as they get older. So is it possible that if you get Botox done when you're in your late teens or early 20s or it really isn't doing anything for you, are you going to potentially screw yourself over for when you're in your 40s, your 50s, and your 60s when you actually may benefit from it? See all these bags under my eyes? I'm 54. Anyways, I'm very self-conscious of them. And I found this and it works amazing. I'm gonna show you. I just put a little, a little bit on. So I'm speeding this video up so you don't have to watch all of the time that takes for this to work. In under three minutes. Can you see the difference? That is pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, what if I told you that those results were permanent? 
If I told you that, I'd be lying to you. <laughs> These are temporary. Now there are a class of serums and creams that do this type of thing, where you apply it onto your skin and it essentially acts kind of like Elmer's glue. As it dries on your skin, it leaves this very thin film that constricts and that causes the puffiness to be less visible. So these products are very effective. And if you wanna try one that's quite inexpensive, I'll put a link in the caption below for Sudden Change Under Eye Firming Serum. That's been around for many years. It's not expensive at all. You can get it on Amazon and it definitely works. But the problem with these treatments is that they usually leave behind a thin film that can be visible. So you also have to keep in mind that once this wears off, your eyelids will go back to what they look like before. And so it's so important, instead of using a cream like this on its own, to use a good retinol-based eye cream. I'll put a link for one of those as well that I recommend from my line, Yoon Beauty. Are you like the millions of people who have a bathroom filled with half-empty bottles and tubes of skincare? They may have promised to reduce your wrinkles, lighten your blemishes, and help you feel better about your skin, but none of them actually worked. Well, I've got the answer for you. It's called Yoon Beauty. Yoon Beauty is one of the only skincare lines that combines natural and organic ingredients with the latest and scientifically proven components like vitamin C and retinol. I'm so certain that you'll love Yoon Beauty products that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. Head to yoonbeauty.com and use the coupon code 20OFF to get $20 off your first order over $99. I'll put a link in the caption below. Once you try Yoon Beauty products, I bet you'll throw away your other skincare products and start loving your skin again. Thank you for putting your trust in me. This looks like a really nice drink. I'm not a huge fan of the cayenne powder. I think it's gonna be a bit spicy, but all the other stuff probably tastes pretty good, but it will do nothing, nothing, zero, zilch, nada for belly fat. Now there are a ton of ways to reduce belly fat, ranging from non-invasive treatments like sculpture, to liposuction, to different types of diets that can help reduce the overall fat of your body. But you have to keep in mind that we don't know of any foods that you can eat or any drinks that will target primarily belly fat. This is called scalp popping. As you can see, this guy, and he's actually a barber, is grabbing this guy's hair and yanking it, and you can hear that pop. Now, supposedly, different cultures have been practicing this for centuries, and there are many claims about scalp popping that it is actually good for your health and even to reduce things like headaches. But there's no scientific proof that this does anything except potentially tear some of these soft tissues that are between your skull and your actual skin or your scalp. There's a fibrous covering over the skull called the galea, and what we may be hearing here is either tearing of that galea as it's being yanked on, or possibly a pop from this negative pressure by pulling on it. Either way, you could create bleeding from this, you could get a hematoma from this, and there's just no science to show that this is good for you at all. So if that belly fat busting drink that you saw just a minute ago doesn't work, how about these injections? Well, this is injections of Kybella. Kybella is a naturally occurring substance in the GI tract that when injected into fat can actually cause that fat to dissolve. It's actually FDA approved to reduce fat of the double chin, and I do Kybella injections in my office all the time. But I don't recommend Kybella injections for the abdomen in this type of a situation. And the reason is not that it doesn't work, it does work. The reason is it's incredibly expensive. It typically costs about $1,000 just to treat the fat under the chin, and you usually need anywhere from two to four treatments for maximal results. Well, you've got a much larger area of the abdomen here that you're injecting, 
I mean, why not just use something that's non-invasive like sculpture or cool sculpting or just go straight to liposuction? So injecting the abdomen with this much Kybella to me just seems like a waste of the patient's money. Now this video has absolutely nothing to do with TikTok beauty trends, but as you can see, this is actually a parasite inside a person's freaking eyeball. Have you ever seen anything so disturbing? So as usual, whenever I react to TikTok videos, I always end up showing a couple of my own. Let's take a peek. Literally the day after Squid Game was released on Netflix, I had hundreds of people commenting on my social media posts that they thought I looked like the guy in Squid Game. And a lot of people actually thought I was him. So I made this video as a joke. This video went viral all over social media and on TikTok especially, in the span of literally like a week, I had over a million new followers and I think so many of them thought that I actually was this actor. So of course I played into it with this next one. So am I really the main actor from Squid Game? Well, the answer is yes, I am. And I look forward to you watching me on season two of Squid Game coming to Netflix very soon. But until then, take a peek at this playlist where I react to more TikTok videos. These are going to make you laugh, some may actually make you cry, and some may make you wince a bit too. If you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel and always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.